Okay, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to investigate um, the uh, uh, tool called John the Ripper. Okay, and uh, we're going to use John the Ripper to uh, perform some uh, offline password attack. Okay, so um, first we need to make sure that John the Ripper is installed. So let's try to install it. sudo app get install John. Right, this is how you install John the Ripper. Okay, and uh, for me, uh, for my system, it is already installed. Right, so there are nothing to be done, and we can proceed to use John the Ripper. Okay, so um, let's first try out the um, uh, the uh, Cisco Type Five uh, password. Right, let's head over to our uh, router that uh, we have uh, configured a uh, enable password. And uh, as you can see, um, the Type Five password here. Okay, which is what we generated just now, corresponding to the uh, uh, password of class huh, is given here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the string. Okay, and uh, I'm going to head back to um, the Kali Linux uh, system. Okay, now back on the Kali Linux system, I'm going to create a file. Let's call it my password file. Right, and uh, I'm going to uh, put it in this format, right? So um, enable user, for example. And then uh, I'm going to give it a colon, and I'm going to actually just uh, paste the string that I've copied from the uh, Cisco uh, configuration file over. Okay, so this is the type 5 uh, password, the hash form of the type 5 password uh, in the Cisco configuration file. And uh, this is the user that we are going to uh, uh, tag it to. Right, uh, this, this is the format that uh, John the Reaper is expecting. Okay, so uh, we are going to... We are going to write this file, alright, and uh, we are going to run John the Ripper on my uh, on this password file, right? So the the way to do this is to you need root privilege, and then sudo John my password. That's the syntax. Okay, so you can see uh, it is running, okay, and it runs and it's actually completed already. Alright, so this is how it look like, and uh, to see the password, right, you can see, use the dash dash show option to display all of the correct password reliably. Okay, so um, the way to do it is to do this at the show. And you can see, corresponding to the user, right, the hash password is actually class. So it is also very trivial to reverse a Cisco uh, Type 5 password. So again, uh, of course, if the password is longer, it will take longer time. Uh, if the password is more complex, it's going to take longer time. Uh, but the idea is uh, you never, never want to let anybody know the password hash, right? Because uh, with the password hash, they can use uh, the tools like John the Ripper to do a, uh, a reverse engineering on what the actual password is. Okay, and in the last part, I want to show you uh, Linux uh, password files, right? So um, in Linux system, the uh, passwords are actually stored inside uh, this uh, slash etc shadow, right? This is the um, file that the file should look something like this, right? And uh, again, you can see this field is actually the uh, hash password. Okay, this field is actually the hash password. Okay. Um, what uh, we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you that uh, the John 2, John the Reaper 2, is also able to uh, work on etc shadow files. Right? So again, what you do uh, is use John on the slash etc shadow file. Right? And uh, it is going to uh, run through the uh, passwords inside etc shadow file. Right? And... Uh, it can actually see that it is uh, successful uh, in uh, getting some password out of it. Right, so again, to see what password uh, it managed to get out of the ETC shadow file, this is what you do. Right, you can see for the Kelly user, the password is password. For you, uh, the Kelly user, the password is Kelly. For user one, the password is password. For FTP user, the password is password. Right, and so on. Okay, so uh, this is how uh, the you can use uh, John the Ripper on uh, your uh, systems.
okay on the slash uh, etc shadow uh, of the system so again you do not want uh, the attacker to grab hold of your etc shadow file uh, for this reason 